Hey everybody, Dan here. I'm here to show you another sneak peek of what's coming in Photo Raw 2024. Now this one seems like a pretty small little feature, but I found it to be a huge workflow benefit. Let me show you what it is. It's the breadcrumbs bar that you can use inside of Browse and inside of Edit now. So take a look at this. If you remember in the past, there was a breadcrumb bar at the top in Browse. It basically showed you the path to the photo that you are in. Well, we've made that a lot shorter now, and we've made it appear in both Browse and inside of Edit. So right here at the bottom, let me circle it for you you'll see the location is a folder called fighter and inside of it are the photos that we see in the film strip at the bottom it tells me the name of the photo and how many photos are in that folder but here's where it gets really handy you notice this little triangle when i click on this i can see the full folder path so right here here's the path it started at my drive called photos went to my personal photos folder to the aircraft folder to the fighter folder so i can see the full path and i can navigate up and down the path i can also see my favorites I can see my albums, I can see recent folders and recent files, and I can change to those right here inside of Edit. I don't even have to go back to Browse to do this. So let's say earlier I worked on a photo and I really like the settings that I used on it, but I didn't make a preset from it. So I wanna be able to jump to that photo, copy its settings, jump back to this photo and paste them, even though they're in different folders. So watch how I can do that. That other photo that I worked on happened to have been in the Airlift folder. So I just go over here to my recent folders, there's Airlift, I click on it and there's all those photos. You notice I'm still inside of edit, still in edit, and I can scroll over. I can find the photo that I like the settings from right there. All right, I'm just gonna copy the settings. I'll go settings, copy, and I'll come back over here to that little dropdown. And I'm just gonna switch back to my recent photo that I was just looking at, this one right here. There we are, we're right back on the photo we were just working on, and now I can paste those settings. So I'll go settings, paste. So there you go, I was able to copy and paste settings from photos across different folders. Let me show you another place where this is really handy and that's in the add layer from file dialog. So over here in the layers palette, when I click on the plus button, you'll notice I have that same little breadcrumbs bar right up here. Now I happen to have a, an album that I keep logos in. So I can jump to that logo album and grab a logo and add it to it from here too. So I just click on the little pop-up, I'll go to my albums and I'll pick my Air Force logos. There they are, I'll pick the one that I want and I'll say add as a layer. Bam, it adds it right in there as a layer, and now I can grab it, and move it, position it wherever I want. Maybe we'll try a different blend mode. Maybe luminosity works well for this one. There you go. You've seen how you can use the new breadcrumbs bar both inside of Browse and inside of Edit to find your photos quickly. It allows you to bounce from folder to folder and even to your albums right inside of Edit, right where you need to have access to them. It's just one of the great new features in Photo Raw 2024, along with great performance improvements, a brand new UI, and Brilliance AI to automatically make your photos look great. There you go. Thanks for watching.